Kepler 10c is an exoplanet orbiting the G-type star Kepler 10, located around 568 light years away in Draco. Its discovery was announced by Kepler in May 2011, although it had been seen as a planetary candidate since January 2011, when Kepler 10b was discovered. The team confirmed the observation using data from NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope and a technique called Blender that ruled out most false positives. Kepler 10c was the third transiting planet to be confirmed statistically, after Kepler 9d and Kepler 11g. The Kepler team considers the statistical method that led to the discovery of Kepler 10c as what will be necessary to confirm many planets in Kepler's field of view. Kepler 10c orbits its host star every 45 days at a quarter of the average distance between the Sun and Earth. It has a radius more than double that of Earth, but a higher density, suggesting a mainly rocky composition with around 5 a euro 20% ices by mass. For comparison, the Earth's oceans represent only 0.02% of our planet's mass, with an additional amount potentially a few times this stored in the mantle. Discovery and confirmation In January 2011, the closely orbiting planet Kepler 10b was confirmed in the orbit of the star Kepler 10 after measurements of its transiting behavior and a radial velocity effect detected in Kepler 10's spectrum provided the information needed to prove that it was indeed a planet. An additional, longer period dimming was detected in Kepler 10's spectrum, suggesting that a second planet existed in the system. However, there remained the possibility that the signal could have some other cause, and that the transit event was a false positive. Attempts to measure the radial velocity effects of this object, now named KOI 072.02, were fruitless. Therefore, to rule out false positive scenarios, the Kepler team used a technique called Blender. The application of Blender was supplemented by use of the IRAC instrument on the Spitzer Space Telescope which was used on August 30 and November 15, 2010, to further define Kepler 10's light curve at the point where KOI 072.02 appeared to transit it. It was found that the transiting object did not produce a color, an aspect that is characteristic of stars. This suggested even further that KOI 072.02 was a planet. In addition, the IRAC instrument found no difference in the transit signal when comparing the star's light curve and the infrared and invisible light. Stars that are aligned with Kepler 10 might appear visibly similar, but would appear different in the infrared. The WIYN Observatory's 3.5M telescope was used for speckle imaging on June 18, 2010. In addition, the PHARO camera on the Palomar Observatory's 5M telescope was used for its adaptive optics capabilities. These observations, combined with observations of Kepler 10 spectrum taken from the WM Keck Observatory, ruled out the possibility that a nearby star's light was corrupting the observed spectrum of Kepler 10 and creating the results that had led astronomers to believe that a second planet existed in Kepler 10's orbit. All of these possibilities, with the exception of if such a star existed exactly behind or in front of Kepler 10, were effectively ruled out. Even with this, the Kepler team found that if a star was indeed aligned with Kepler 10 as seen from Earth, such a star would probably not be a giant star. With a greater degree of certainty established, the Kepler team compared the models formed using Blender to the photometric observations collected by the Kepler satellite. The Blender technique allowed the Kepler team to rule out the majority of the alternatives including, notably, that of triple star systems. Blender then allowed the Kepler team to determine that although all models representing hierarchical triple stars can resemble the light curve of Kepler 10, the aforementioned follow-up observations would have detected them all. The only possible blends remaining after ruling out hierarchical triple stars was that of determining if the curve is caused by interference from a background star, or if it is indeed caused by the orbit of a transiting planet. Comparisons of KOI 072.02 to the 1235 other Kepler objects of interest in Kepler's field of vision allowed astronomers to use models that led to the confirmation of KOI 072.02 as a planet with a high degree of certainty. KOI 072.02 was then renamed Kepler 10c. The planet's confirmation was announced at the Boston meeting of the American Astronomical Society on May 23, 2011. 
Kepler-10c was the first Kepler target to be observed using SPISA with the hope of detecting a shallow transit dip in a light curve. At the time of Kepler-10c's discovery, SPISA was the only facility capable of detecting shallow transits in the Kepler data to an extent at which the data could be meaningfully analyzed. The planet was also the third transiting planet that was validated through an analysis of statistical data, after the planets Kepler-9d and Kepler-11g. In Kepler-10c's confirmation paper, the Kepler team discussed how a large fraction of planets in Kepler's field of view would be confirmed in this statistical manner. Host star Kepler-10 is a G-type star located 173 pasks from Earth. It is 0.895 solar masses and 1.056 solar radii, making it slightly less massive than the Sun, but approximately the same size. With an effective temperature of 5627 kelvins, Kepler-10 is cooler than the Sun. The star is also metal poor and far older, its metallicity is measured at FeH equals a 0.15. Kepler-10 has a measured age of approximately 10.6 billion years. Kepler-10 has an apparent magnitude of 11.2, which means that the star is invisible to the naked eye from the perspective of an observer on Earth. Characteristics Kepler-10c is the outermost of the two known planets of Kepler-10, completing one orbit of the star every 45.29485 days at a distance of 0.2407 AU. The inner planet, Kepler-10b, is a rocky planet that orbits every 0.8 days at a distance of 0.01684 AU. Kepler-10 Celsius's equilibrium temperature is estimated at 584 kelvins, almost four times hotter than Jupiter's. The planet's orbital inclination is 89.65 a, or almost edge on with respect to Earth and to Kepler-10. Transits have been observed at points where Kepler-10c has crossed in front of its host star. Kepler-10c has a mass of 15 a Euro 19 Earth masses. With a radius only 2.35 times that of Earth, and a density higher than Earth's it is unlikely to contain significant amounts of hydrogen and helium gas. Outgassed or accreted hydrogen-rich atmospheres would have been lost over the 10.6 billion year lifetime of the Kepler-10 system. Instead, the composition is likely to be mainly rocky, with a water fraction of 5 a euro 20% by mass. The bulk of this water is likely to be in the form of high-pressure hot ice phases. See also, 55 Kane Cryi. Kepler 10b, Kepler 20b. References